Now, moving on to another conversation which is very, very important for we country, and we know say this one don't become uh, the norm or the new thing where they happen for Nigeria as it be. So every day, every now and then, we report cases of uh, some kind of insecurity where they happen from ritual killings to kidnappings to banditry to different, different, different things where they happen for the country. And the numbers, they increase looking at the deaths where we don't they see so far. And this one, now I want make we discuss this matter this morning with one very, very Obonga guest. We could help us break down some of these things. What do we need to do as individuals to take make sure say we secure ourselves, we make our security be cajad. And what do governments supposed to do also to help the security agencies? We're supposed to choke eye for these things, uh, beef them up stronger. And what do these security agencies and we supposed to take do together to take make sure say our uh, safety for this country they all right. And now Oga Dennis. Amakri will be former assistant director the uh, Department of State Services DSS. Now, go help us look this matter as it be because as it be so, things done red. You're welcome, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Ah, we day okay. I day here, uh, precious day here, and Ochukosef day here with me. We go like touch this matter because as it be so, people not feel sleep with their two eyes closed anymore. People, before they come out, go outside, they, they pray like three times. Because they don't know whether they go return come house. The ones who go return, they pray, make their return complete. Because that's now body parts don't be waiting that they use uh, and the order of the day. So, uh, Oga, as you be security expert, make we even start. Make we even look the people first before we even say make we go government side. As people, what do we suppose to do to make sure say we could fit put our security together for ourselves first? Okay, thank you very much uh, thank you very for much. inviting me here. Yeah. Uh, the important thing is this, uh, prayer is good. Mm. You should pray every morning before you leave your house. But at the same time, there are certain things where you're supposed to do uh, by yourself. Mm. Uh, that one government will do it for you because when you look at the security, now you be the person who is important about security, not the government. Mm. Because in the, uh, the, the first thing where you go do for security, now you go do it. So, um, today, we would like to talk about uh, what they call uh, security consciousness, mm. or uh, sometimes what they call it situational awareness, mm. but I will break it down, you know, and that one we say, um, wherever you find yourself, even in your house or outside, make you know where you did, mm. uh, make you know who you be. Because when you don't go somewhere, go forget yourself. And as soon as you forget yourself, things go happen where you don't go know. Hmm. For instance, the man we don't drink well well. No know what they happen around them. True. You know? So you need to know yourself anywhere you be, especially outside. So that if there's certain things where you go see. If fire one come out or uh, riot one start, hmm. it things will go happen, and you need to know those things and then protect yourself. Hmm. Okay, okay. So um, just as you um, you know, don't talk. I'm saying get things we're supposed to know to protect ourselves. Before we come to the things and what we be supposed to do, on the part of the security agencies already, you feel say then they overwhelmed with the work we be then get because we never really get them this bad before security wise. And if you feel say then they overwhelmed, what thing we supposed to do both as individuals and as communities to help their own work to also protect us better? Okay, you know, say security, not everybody business. Only security people know if do this security business because security people not be magicians. They know they do magic where they will say, okay, something is going to happen and this is the thing we will do to stop her. No, they don't submit that one. In fact, good security, now the situation where everybody will do for society, they contribute. When you contribute your own, in fact, give the security people like information. If you give them information, then they go use them. I know in Nigeria we don't get problem where you go tell police something and then the thing will leak again. In fact, the people who the report will come because they warn you, you know. <laughs> but uh, that we know say that one they happen. 
So for that kind of thing, we always advise people, when you want to report something, go and report it to the ogre. Go and report it to the ogre. If you feel like, say, you don't go fit see the ogre, mm -hmm. you get uh, uh, chiefs where they near you. You get uh, legislators where they near you. Uh, people when they for uh, state assembly, when they in charge of your place, call up, tell them. Uh, so see you, see what did they happen, and then you go, you go carry up to your own level, go talk to people, but no, just keep quiet. Even there is number, some people, many people get phone. Uh, if you get to call, like you see something, just. Uh, dial 112 for Lagos, or you dial 767 for Lagos, and uh, uh, rapid response will answer you. And if they answer you, we we'll even try to see if they can uh, close down the uh, space where they will take come to you. Because we don't want to say you call them, they will come after 20 hours or something like that. If, they, if you call them, they should be there within about 15, 10 minutes. You know, so no forget to use these numbers, and you don't need credit to call the number. You just dial them and you go in for their office. You tell them what is the wrong with you, and they will come. Hmm. Now, um, everything where you did, they tell us now, now, now the responsibility of the masses of the people. Now, let we turn the card a little bit. Face the part where we say even the masses not get their hands they tied just like what it happened yesterday for Kirby State when it be say the insurgencies they see raid they kill scores of people even the travelers if they open fire shoot a lot of people die that no matter we just break out this morning now in that kind of situation we go still hear um, federal government from the force them the air um. When words they see they come from them, say um, the issue of the insurgency, they go defeat them and all that. And the people, there is a big dislink between the people because what the people they see now, death and death and death attack. No, and, and governments they give them a choice and say, No worry, we don't defeat them technically. So, based on that, waiting you go talk with a wealth of experience, say. The government not still they do right to take give the people confidence. Uh, you know, say this uh, uh, Boko Haram bandit case don't take for Nigeria. We don't pass more than ten years. We still the fight them. Mm -hmm. uh, before we come find out, say uh, why this thing they continue to be saying the people with they inside Nigeria where they support these people. You know, when they support them, they give them money, they buy gun, give them, and all those kind of, you know, AK-47, AK-47, one AK-47 is about 400 to 500,000 Naira, hmm. one. Now, look at these bandits. They don't be like, say, there be people who get plenty money, you know, people who they live inside bush, mm -hmm. but they all carry AK-47. What did that one tell you? He tell you, say, somebody, they buy this thing, give them, I mean, mm -hmm. so, as they, they carry this thing, they go around, they, they, they cause problems, even for government security people, mm -hmm. because when government security people are fighting to see, say, make them crush these people, and the same that they people inside Nigeria, when they give them money, they buy gold, they give them, they do all kinds of things, so, it, it becomes a really serious problem, but, you know, we thank God. Hmm. The security people have tried. They've really, really tried. I know because I they talk to them all the time. You know, they, they try well, well to make sure, say, they bring this wahala to an end. And but the thing, like you mentioned about Kebi yesterday, now we we be citizens. The thing where we will do also they. Hmm. Many people not just wake up say they want to travel. They want to travel go somewhere. You know. Sometimes, like Christmas, for instance, many people, hey, they won't go home, they must go home. If people don't get money, they go, they borrow money, but they won't go home. If you see, say, road no good, airfare don't rise well, well, you don't fit pay. See that for where you did, Christmas don't finish. Mm. 
And she said, thank for where you did. Eh? If you wake up for money, you, you, you will go work for Lagos. And because you will live for Ajangbadi, and you will work for Victoria Island. Eh? They, 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 so you wake up around 4 a.m. Eh? When they work out, they go. Uh, anything can happen during the period when the uh, darkness day. Sure. So you can wait until daybreak. Even the old guy when when you go to when when you the fear say he go vex. He self knows say that the thing will happen for. Oh, for okay, so uh, Oga, you just mentioned Lagos State now. Uh -huh. I guess something really very peculiar to Lagos State in terms of yes. uh, security. That not traffic robbers. If you give us a few tips on how, uh, very quickly, a few tips on how we could cope with traffic robbery incidents. If you be say you day single inside motor and they won't, you know, attack you. Okay, one thing where you go do for traffic, very very important. All the people where they ride motor, they drive motor to Lagos should. Take these things very seriously. Number one, no carry things put inside your motor when uh, other people, when they either walk out or they drive, they see the thing when you they carry. You can see some people they carry laptop uh, put for inside motor or they buy things when they put inside. And then, of course, during go slow, you go see people when they beg, when they beg, your handbag, like women like you now. Uh, some go put their handbag near their this thing. Mm. Uh -huh. They drive and then they see your bag. They believe say something they inside. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So True. what if you say before you leave your office, open your boot, carry all the important things where you don't want make people carry. Put that inside the boot. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. No problem. Now when when you when you pack those things, put inside your boot. I will warn you now. Take phone. You know, you know, so many people get more than one phone. And the active phone, when you they use, put it inside your bag, put it inside your boots. Hmm. The phone, when you know they use again, carry and put there. I know, say so that they listen to all these uh, bad boys, they, they listen to me, but <laughs> of course, they know too, say, when this thing they happen, they are in a hurry. Eh? Uh -huh. So, Put one phone where you know they use again. Put them near you. If they come begin the worry, you give up to them where they can go. Wow. Okay? Wow. All right. They can go because they will say, maybe give them your phone. Hmm. All of them are phone they look for, they will go sell. Natural. Give Thank one you. where you know they use again, where they can go. But always keep one near you. The active one where they use. Where your bank account number, them day and all those things. Put that inside your bank. Put that for your side your trunk. You know. Thank you. Why right. not? Why not right. your glass? Uh -huh. Why not your glass when you they go through that go slow, hmm. especially when the go slow don't eat. I know say some cars don't get air condition. <laughs> now so you know, that was FD. Yeah, why not? But crack up small so that somebody has no go fit entire side, you know, uh -huh. like what you go do. So these are little, little things so you feel do, you know, when you go through traffic. All right. And then, of course, All right. uh, the police people are always also around, but they have to do more where they will post their people to go to those areas yeah. where yeah. traffic, they happen. you know, plenty, yeah. yes. All right. Thank you very much, Oga Dennis uh, Amakri, will be former assistant director, deputy of state service DSS. You don't tell us all your very, very important things put on for boots, making it you know, be like, say, you they attract the uh, robbers then. Come, uh, fit, uh, break your, your glass or collect for your hand. Thank you very much, sir, for spending this uh, short time with us and giving people advice on waiting to do for their own safety. All thank right. Thank you very much. All right.